Hi, this is the Amazon Basics GoPro mount slash harness. So it basically goes on your chest like this and there's a certain way to clip it on and I'm gonna show you because I did it wrong the first time and it was a little bit tricky to get it off. So I'm gonna show you so that you don't make the same mistake. So first let me show you what it looks like. So you see when I turn around, it's, it's on me, it's easy. To take it off, you basically just take it off, right? So I'm gonna take it off. Hopefully you can still hear me because I have the camera, the microphone. There we go. And then to put it on, so to put it on, let me just show you how to put it on. So it has to look like this, okay? So what you do is you put your head through this hole here, okay, like this, okay? And then you put your head through here, and then your arms, you take one arm and you put it through here, and then you take one arm and you put it through here, okay? And then this goes over your head, and then there you go. And then it's really easy to adjust it. The, the straps are adjustable themselves. I have not adjusted the straps at all. Out of the box, it came perfect. It fits perfect, it's not too tight. I can move it lower towards my abdomen, or I can move it up towards my chest so you can control the height. Two really big advantages of this product are one, compared to the chest strap, which I have over here, let me grab it. This is the official GoPro chest strap. This is great too, but um, when you're going for walks and stuff, it, when you turn, it records it. So I'm recording walking videos, so I want it to look straight ahead. So if I'm walking on a trail and I see something and I don't want the camera to see it, I can just turn my head and the camera keeps recording forward. That is a huge plus of this product. Also, unlike the head strap, it's not gonna leave an indentation on your forehead and it's not as obvious, you know? Like if you're walking around with a camera on your forehead, yeah, just, uh, it, you tend to get funny looks. Whereas if it's here and you have a jacket on, it's not as obvious. It's still obvious, but it's not as attention seeking. So it's a little bit nicer in that regard. It's also much more comfortable. Okay, so putting it on, uh, or putting it together, I did have an issue. And so I'm gonna show you how to put it together so you don't have that same issue. So I'm gonna take it off very carefully here. Well, all right, mic's still on. All right, so let's pan the camera down and I'm gonna show you exactly uh, what I mean. So it's gonna come down here and let's zoom in so you can see it. Get a really close look at how it, how it goes together. So to take it apart, you basically unscrew this. It comes with this piece, okay, which is really nice. So let me unscrew it. Okay, nice and, it's got a bunch of screws. If you're familiar with GoPro, um, it's really, really threaded. It's really heavy, made, uh, heavy duty, it's very well made. This is the GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black, by the way. It's an older GoPro. Uh, I'm gonna try this uh, strap to make some videos and I'm probably gonna upgrade. All right, and then so you just need a case that has this piece here. All right, so to get this off, okay, so I put it on the wrong way. You just have to push really hard, okay? Just don't be afraid to push. You don't wanna break it, but you wanna push. Ah, there we go, you see? And so what I did wrong the first time was, um, I put it on wrong, I put it on like this, okay? You don't wanna do that. You see where it says the brand? You see where it says Amazon Basics? You want it to, you wanna be able to read it, so it has to be like this, okay? You see how it says Amazon Basics there? So I'm gonna lay it down so you can really get a good look at it. So just to make sure you got it, because if you put it on backwards, it is a little bit hard to take off, right? You do have to put some force. Initially, I was using a screwdriver, a pen, and I broke my pen. Um, so, whoops, there we go. So this is gonna go like this, right? So it's facing up. And then you just slide it in like that. Now, another thing that's a little bit weird about this, and this is something that um, perhaps over time it'll get better, but when you try to put this on, you see it doesn't go in. You see that? So there's a trick. See, it doesn't, it doesn't really catch. So the trick, okay, the trick is to lay it flat like this and then push. See how easy that was? Super easy. But if instead I try to do it like this, it doesn't really work, okay? So the trick is to lay it down and push like, and try to get it again. There it is, like that. So you gotta come in that way. And now you see it's perfect. Then you take your screw and you do that and then you're good to go, right? You're good to go. So just watch out for that. I think that um, that was a problem for me when I first got it. Uh, first of all, I put it on backwards. Second of all, again, just one more time just to make sure you got it because it's frustrating, right? 
if you're trying to get it in like this, it's, it's just not gonna go in. And when I first got it, I thought, is it broken? Is it defective? What's going on, right? Because I, I have other connectors that work, you know, for example, for my, for my head strap, no issues there. But for this one, you, you definitely wanna come in this way and it's just very easy. So yeah, pretty happy with it. Um, it works. Uh, it's much more comfortable than expected. Oh, it looks like I lost a strap. I'll have to add that back. But yeah, I like it. I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully you have a lot of fun videos with this. Take care.